Before we start today's video, I want to take a moment to congratulate Foam Blasted and Tataki82. I made a video six months ago on the Air Warriors Night Tech. Subliminally in the video, I stuck in a little contest that when the video would hit a thousand views, the winners would get a free Air Warriors Night Tech. I normally put a disclaimer on my contests that I don't ship internationally. So when the random name generator ran and Foam Blast's name came up, I ran it again. But then I got Sataki82, another one of my friends that also happens to live in Germany. So I was like, you know what? I owe Foam Blasted a t-shirt anyway for a favor he did for me a while back. So I'm gonna go ahead and give out two Air Warriors Night Techs, one for Foam Blasted, congratulations buddy, and one for Sataki82, congratulations to you buddy. If you're not already subscribed, you might wanna do that right now before we move on. As soon as we hit 2,000 subscribers, I am giving away, not one, not two, but three Dark Zone Max Dictators. You can check out this video for more details. It's been a very crazy and busy weekend, but I am coming up with a mod video for the Fire Phoenix Pistol, which if you recall, I did make a video on last week. Without further delay, Let's get into it. All right, guys, starting off at the first Goodwill, and we have this Bug Attack Double Shot Shotgun. They have this on the Dino Strike series. I really like it. And an Artemis. I've been looking for this thing forever. Great shape. I was so happy to have it. Here's the blue XD version of the Nerf Elite Strong Arm Revolver. A very cool rapid red. I have way too many of them, so I left it for the next person. And move it on to the next Goodwill. Very nice to see a Fate for $1.99. World Air Warriors. They actually make a pistol. I didn't know this until recently. They actually make a couple pistols. I think they make a green one as well. They have a larger carbine unit that's not so great. Rival Takedown. I really, really like this shotgun. Don't need another one though. And a Cyclone Shock. This one was $2.99 and I believe it was black half off day. So I wasn't going to put down a Cyclone Shock for $1.50. Put it down to think about it, but I know I took that one for sure. Little Banana Peely kind of four shot like the Scope AR. And we have an Ultra 5 with a whole bunch of Ultra Darts taped to it. A dollar ninety nine, and it was black tag half off day. I ended up getting this Ultra Five for ninety nine cents. Yeah, you don't turn those down. You're coming with me. And this is a collector item, guys. I don't have one of them. It was half off for ninety nine cents. I got the Chewbacca crossbow. Cool little rival finisher here. Didn't have the mag, and I already got a few of these, so I left that on the shelf. Cool Adventure Force drummer. It wasn't on sale just yet for Blue Tech, so I put that on the shelf. Try to come back and get that half off. Demolishers are always cool to see on the shelf. You don't have one. It's a nice pick. Up. Another Adventure Force Destroyer of uh, the green variety. I already have a couple of these, so I put that right back. A Commander with a bunch of darts. Very cool. Elite 2.0. Reliable. I didn't need it, so I put it right back. What's up, y'all? It's your boy, Not Enough. You already know the drill. We gotta get to running some errands, and while we're doing that, we're gonna stop at a few Goodwills and see what we find. Let's get into it. At the next Goodwill, I see something I never see. A Pharaoh from Ultra. This one actually had the mag. They normally don't. They wanted $12 for it, and this was during the time that at Walmart, they were only for like $19, so I pass on it. Apex X5 from Dart Zone was gonna go ahead and wait for next week to get the better deal. Funny painted SPL and one of these little jailbreak armory Roblox pistols, single shot hammer action. Kind of cool. I didn't have one and it was 99 cents, I believe, with the sale, so I went ahead and grabbed it. A Proton from Vortex latest color edition which i like also on sale i don't have one of these i believe so i went ahead and grabbed that and arrival helios or helios blue variety i always see the white but i never see the blue i didn't need it though so i put it right back a boomco spin sanity 3x blaster this is a really cool blaster ever since i saw walcom's video i knew i had to have it i just didn't think i've ever find one 5.99 for a collectible oh yeah sonic ice blue rampage now granted it did not have the proper mag in it but I later found its mag in another unit. This really cool Raven was $5.99 with also another mag that didn't pertain. I went through a big mag sorting and rearranging kind of thing. Like we had some Doomlands double dealer mags tied to this Mark II, for example, and I had to rearrange those. Cool little blazing bow. But then I found the actual double dealer with the Rampages mag. So I just took all the blasters. Then when I got home, I put the corresponding mags on the corresponding blaster, guys. Double dealers are really, really cool. Double magazine fed launcher we have a x shot turbo fire always nice to see these i got a couple of them and of course we found the firefly mag that did pertain to that raven on this retaliator xd elite i believe that i lord worked all these mags to the correct spot little recon cs6 really cool blaster from 2015 and a hammer shot the beloved hammer shot i have way too many of these but luckily somebody will happily find that on the shelf and one of these cool scout ix3s i believe the n strike yellow version is the latest iteration for it i'll let joe can confirm that 
Thermal Hunter from Busby without the stock granted, but very cool blaster nonetheless. And a Zingbo. Always like seeing those on the shelf, especially with the arrows. I didn't need this one, so I left it on the shelf for the next person. Let's get it, guys. Hey, guys, just popping in for a second. You know I'm always down for people that are doing great things for the community. Check out El Perez 5 on YouTube or as his Instagram handle, Kern County Foam Flingers, I believe. He's giving away two fully upgraded Adventure Force Tactical Strike Nexus Pros. Give him a follow on Instagram. I believe it's going to be a random raffle just for Father's Day, something nice he wanted to do. Shout out to Kern County, Lorenzo. I love what you're doing, brother. Keep it up. Back to your regularly scheduled program. All right, guys, first up, we have the Nerf Rival Artemis 17-3000. This one came out in 2017 as the 17 Roman numeral depicts. It's got three internal mags, which you load them from the front by putting rival balls in here. Close it right up. Pump action, fantastic blaster. It's one of the best HVZ blasters. Your friends will probably confirm it. 2015, we were treated with the Nerf Mega version of our beloved Elite Disruptor, known as the Nerf Mega Cyclone Shock. This is a six front loading revolver per Mega. Amazing blaster for HVZ, for just about anything, even plinking and playing around the house. This thing is pretty awesome. I have a couple of these already, but I think the price was $2.99 and black half off. What is that, like $1.50? So there you go guys. In 2020, we received the Nerf Ultra 5, which is kind of like the Magnus of Ultra. It holds five internal mags or four in one of the chamber, I don't remember right now. It has this very proprietary brass knuckle look hand grip right here, which some people like. It's kind of like a love it or hate it thing. This is probably my favorite Ultra Blaster of the Springer varieties. Definitely a very cool blaster. At that same Goodwill, these blasters were all jumbled up with each other as far as parts go. This Mark II had the double dealer's mags taped to it. The double dealer had another blaster's mag taped to it. But anyway, never have enough Mark IIs. One of the latest iteration of the Retaliators. Just a few things that need to be done with it for it to perform on par with the other ones and even exceed the performance. Really cool blaster. One of the more ergonomic ones. I I happen to like this one a lot. Of course, there's the double dealer. This is a Nerf Doomlands 2169 blaster. I like this little rear section here for storage. Obviously, the mags go on on the side, much like now a lot of blasters these days are doing it. One that I could think of right away is the Dark Zone Villainator. Very cool design. It has double barrel here and it shoots from either one upon every pump. Got that airplane starship looking feel. I really like it. Now, I know a lot of people will tell you that this is probably the most poorly performing Nerf Blaster of all time. <laughs> I particularly love it because it's a collector's piece to me. I have a few Star Wars pieces, not all of them obviously, but one definitely to have for collection purposes and not for performance. I had to get me the Chewbacca crossbow, guys. Oh yeah. This was a cool find for me. I have Rampages, but I didn't have the Sonic Ice Blue one. This drum was attached to that double dealer originally. Now I just took all the blasters anyway because they were all priced to sell. I thought this was a very nice collector's version of the Rampage. This is the one to keep in my opinion. I think American Foam came across one in his thrifting video recently, but I personally never have come across this one. And I think this is one of the better ones out there. Sonic Ice Blue Rampage, guys. By the way, guys, I got a little carried away, but this is a 2016 blaster. This is a 2016 blaster. This is a 2013 blaster, the Sonic Ice Blue one as well. And the Bowcaster from Chewbacca is a 2015 blaster. Boom Coat Spin Sanity. If you need any convincing, this is a blaster you should have in your collection, check out Walcom's video on it. And we're here to talk about the Boom Coat Spin Sanity 3X because this was the strife of the Boom Co line. It's about a couple years old, maybe one year old. It was in his tag back, I think, series. This is pretty awesome. It's a flywheeler. This one actually came with batteries. Pretty damn nice sounding, if you ask me. Shoot standard Boom Co darts, which are proprietary. I'm pretty sure there's some posts in the community that suggests tutorials on how to make your own darts with, I think, drinking straws, if I'm not mistaken. Has this mechanic here where you can change your cylinders. Really cool blaster. Came out in 2015. I'm so sad that Boom Co discontinued their line because it was really cool and the stuff shot hard. All right, guys, wrapping it up with the small blasters. We got the Scout IX-3. Now, funny enough, the yellow version is actually the last iteration of it. This blaster actually started in 2003 as part of the Titan Unity system, which included, I think, the Titan Rocket, the Hornet, and this blaster. It had a completely different color scheme. It was red, silver, and black, I want to say, or white. Funny enough, this is indeed the last iteration. Now, I've started to collect these for some reason. I kind of love the way they feel in the hand. Very classic, iconic, vintage feel. Joel King will have to jump into the comments and tell you exactly when this one came out. I've looked online, and I can't find the exact year this one came out i just know that the platform started in 2003. this blaster came as part of a set of two blasters 
It is from 2021. I think it's called the Jailbreak Armory from Roblox. It's just a hammer shot front loading blaster. I don't really know what the performance is like, but there's plenty of videos online. It's just another Night Finder reshell, guys. Proton, latest color iteration. I think this one came out in 2012 or 2013. I know that the original green, black, and red one came out in 2011, but this one came out later. It's my favorite color scheme of this one since they only made three color schemes in total for this one. I think one of them is uh, Sonic Ice Green, the original one, and this one, of course. Very fun blaster, shoots discs. It's kind of like the Fire Strike or Vortex. Don't forget, I'm running an ongoing giveaway with these Blaster Bargain series. Basically, my favorite comment in the comment section, I'm gonna give away a blaster from one of the 17 episodes we've had to date. All you have to do is comment, make sure you subscribe. If you enjoyed this video, you're definitely gonna like this one. I'll catch you on the next one. Stay blasting, foam fam.